Okay, tried making a, a video uh, mainly on uh, the whole bonding, the, the difference between uh, covalent bonding, uh, covalent and ionic bonds explained. Um, but um, uh, I found that uh, I'm just not enough of an expert on the subject. And the, again, these videos are meant for review, not really for learn from. So. What I'm going to do is basically take you through a couple of the examples on the web page I have here and point you to these three excellent videos um, on uh, the whole bonding effects, especially this one by uh, uh, Can Academy. All right, so uh, we've already gone through uh, this basic table that I, I drew out. Uh, between the charges and the atomic masses and the volumes and whatnot, and now it's time to um, and I already took you through an introduction on how to draw the atom and if you see here um, this represents the innermost shell and this is an, an outer shell this is the valence shell with uh, two slots open for uh, electrons to take refuge so let's go ahead and uh, continue looking at this um, so let, let's start actually with uh, covalent bonds here and basically uh, the, the difference between uh, covalent bonds and the ionic bonds is that they consist of sharing electrons rather than the ionic bond where it literally kind of rips away a, a, an electron in order to make its uh, valence shell happy because uh, they, they strive to get um, the these spaces filled in. Well, actually, let me use orange to represent the electron. Well, actually, let me go for pink. Pink is a nice bright color. But in, in any case, uh, you, you, I hope you understand the idea there. So l let's start uh, working with an atom. So uh, a good a atom to work with is uh, maybe this one right here. Um, the two oxygen atoms, O2, which we commonly see. So, um, this represents the innermost shell, with it satisfying the two inner electrons in the, it's in the innermost shell. And then, uh, the rest of the electrons, um, after you've used two, you got six left, take up this outer shell. So, essentially, there's, if, if we go back to the example above there were two spaces open so essentially um, let me see if there's a way I can cross these shells it's stealing this shell like this so actually let me make this oxygen green so it's stealing this shell like that and make this one blue so this is still oxygen it's just blue and it's taking the atoms like that and, and you see how if you just look at the blue you have one two three four five six seven eight electrons fulfilling the outer valence shell which is exactly what this atom wants and when you look at the green atom one two three four five six seven eight it's also got itself fulfilled so it, you, you understand it's kinda like these shells are meshing together and using these atoms as a uh, as a connection in, in a sense mesh together it, it's this strong bond and uh, you also see the same thing in dihydrogen monoxide and H2O so when you have a uh, let me draw an atom here P8 and N8 uh, that's the uh, nucleus and then you'll have its electrons what just happened all right oh I pressed the wrong key so p8 and n8 as a nucleus and uh, let's have two little yellow balls here for the electrons and then uh, let's uh, draw a valence shell with a uh, green all right so now on the outside it's going to have one, two, three, four, and five, and a six. One there. So 
Now what do we know that can give fill in this one space and this one space? Well we know that a hydrogen atom has one proton and uh, it has in its shell one electron. So let's go ahead and draw that. P1 and of course hydrogen has no uh, neutron in it. Okay, so we have the yellow hanging out here, yellow hanging out there for filling that space. So we can see, and remember, it wants this hydrogen atom. Well, one key thing about it is it's missing a space here. It wants two to com to complete its innermost shell. Remember, it needs two in the inner shell like that. All right, so when we draw its shell, it's grabbing it, and it's got this strong bond. And remember, this shell, it, it's kind of an intermix of shells, and that's the way I'm thinking of it. Whether that's uh, scientifically correct is another story, but it's a good way to think about it, in my opinion. So this is the whole uh, idea of covalent bonding. All right. So let's continue our conversation now with uh, ionic bonding, which is a, a relatively weak bond. It's not like the other one where there was a, a sharing happening. All right, so uh, let's go through this. Um, here we have uh, salt, um, sodium chloride. So let's look at the shells here and uh, go into. So here we have the internal. Uh, nucleus and then we're going to have the first valence shell shown up as green it's an outer shell fulfilling the rule of eight and then we have the, this um, well let, let me draw it as a shell we have one electron all by itself in the outermost shell so now with uh, this atom here we have uh, this inner shell fulfilled uh, another shell fulfilled just like the other one in the in the other one we have one hanging out in this one we have everything filled in except for one space right there so what gets fulfilled with that space it's not a meshing of um, valent shells as we we've seen with the other ones that one goes away and appears in here I'm drawing it. Yeah, I hope you can see that yellow, which is supposed to represent the E. Oh, yeah, maybe draw an E. Yeah, you can't really read that. Um, maybe I could type it in. There we go. So it, it it's actually taking the shell away. So this shell here, the the this shell is actually satisfied uh, with just the eight and the one being completely gone from this outermost shell entirely it's completed its, its eight um, liking or, or wanting that it, that it wanted to be and um, this has fulfilled, it, it's definitely fulfilled its eight all around it, it's got the, the, the innermost layer with two, outer layer eight and then outermost layer with eight so but you can see how um, and, and just like with the bond we saw before with the um, H2O um, let's see uh, hydrogen hydrogen and then oxygen there there's a polar uh, difference where where this has a charge of negative two and the hydrogens uh, this is plus one and plus one in a sense uh, here we have essentially uh, 18 ele electrons so it's negative one and um, here we have a charge of uh, of positive one because it has 10 electrons but 11 protons and neutrons so this is basically in a sense the ionic bond um, explained and again I, I do recommend looking at um, Khan Academy's videos and the other videos to get a, a better perspective on it but uh, I, I hope it, I'm hoping that um, anyone in the class um, basing off the same examples that we saw in the class uh, got these examples and have a better idea if they were lost or whatever so I end the video here